vlog collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching uh as always i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your family as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel okay i return to source i return to sender all negative energy and intent Immediately and permanently, I call in only the purest of white life and ask that you stay only in the purest of vibrational energy, highest of vibrational energy, okay? Anything the enemy has stolen from you, trying to steal from you, is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here in this tarot reading today. I hope you all are doing well. We have 21, which comes down to three, celebration, mer merriment, harmony, bounty, harvest. Okay, someone may be getting married. Someone is about to get married. Congratulations, okay? It said you are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring. Give me to that. Okay. So let's go ahead and find out what in the name of sources going on here in this tarot reading. As I said, I hope you all are doing well and staying in positivity, living in positivity. Oh, look at that, positivity. Hey, positivity. We have the temperance angel out here. For someone out there, you are being told that you are being protected, you are being watched over. You you had the enemies watching you and you have your angels watching you, your ancestors watching you. Um, you, have, you are someone that's heavily protected. Something I've realized is that when people are stalking you, in a sense that that is some type of protection because you know they're going with you everywhere you're going. So in a way, you're kind of being watched over, but your angels want you to know that they are watching over you and protecting you. Uh, you know, you're, you, you are free to be you. You are free to live in your truth. You are free to heal. You are free to uh, stay healed. Um, someone out there, healing is very imperative to you. This is some type of transition you're going through, right? Healing. And in order for you to heal, I think you're coming to a place where you understand that you have to separate yourself from certain things, places, and people so that your journey can be a little bit more solid. Um, but Spirit just wants you to know that you are protected and supported. You are going to be able to leave some type of environment pretty soon. Get out into the world. Experience new things. Live in your truth. Embrace your spiritual eye aspect. That spiritual aspect of yourself, right? Just live in your authenticity so you will be free. Um, Spirit wants you to know that wherever you go, whatever decisions you make, you are supported, right? You are being divinely guided. You are being protected. You know your wish is their command because you are someone of uh, very imp high importance in the spirit realm. And this is because of the amount of work you've put in. You can come out of hiding now with that hermit being in the reverse that I just saw. It's saying that you can come out of hiding. You don't have to worry about any type of shenanigans and things like that. You're about to be living in a way where people won't be able to hinder you, get you out of this energy because this is what people have been trying to do. It get, it's get a lot of you out of balance, right? A lot of you are working on your healing journey. A lot of you are very far along in your healing journey and people are wanting to help you fall from grace, you know, kind of uh, relapse. Yeah, they want you to relapse but it's not going to be happening, okay? You are going to be just a-okay. I'm telling you, you're gonna be okay. So what, what this is, what this is, it says that you could be receiving some type of message about an enemy falling into their own trap. It says someone was trying to bring some problems to you, trying to trap you. They wanted to end you, bring legal issues to you, but this is you. You stay calm. You are uh, still focused on your purpose. You're staying in a balanced energy like you're supposed to be, and this is you about to start a brand new beginning. And someone knows that this is about to be what's happening. They may be a little bit afraid as well. 
Because when you leave, they're going to be losing something. People are going to be losing something. It's not just one person. It's the whole family that's going to be losing something once you leave. Um, there's a whole family dynamic behind the scenes that knows that they stand to lose quite a lot. I'm telling you, they're living in fear and you are being told to be vigilant. Okay, you are protected. But whoever this family is, this couple is, they are living in fear. They don't want something exposed, but it already has been exposed. You may have someone wanting to confess to you. Yeah, like a king of cups wanting to confess something to you. He knows a lot about something that's going on. Uh, he may want to confess to you. He's also keeping his distance from a family dynamic. Like he's seeing the truth about these people. This is like you being around a group of people with a family or friends and you don't realize how toxic they, they are. And you've been participating in this toxicity for a long time. But, you know, you just know deep down in your heart that you are different from these people, right? You are someone that's meant to be healed, healing other people, very authentic, genuine, and things like that. But the people you have around you are not exactly like that. And whenever you try to talk about, you know, those kind of things, they kind of, they discourage it, right? Like they put a cap on it. Right, they'll say something that'll just kind of discourage you from embracing the side of you. It's like if you say you want to, I don't know, fall in love or you want to be with your true love, they probably laugh at you or say something like, What what are you talking about? You're already in a relationship, but the relationship you're in, you know you're not happy. They know they're not happy, but they want you to stay stuck in there. I remember like almost a year ago when I had my other platform on TikTok before it was stolen, uh block. I mean, it was, I was locked out of the account. Um, I remember picking up on her energy and I feel like this is the same energy I'm picking up on. This was a masculine that was amongst a group of people that just did not think like him. Um, they were quite the opposite. These were people that operated from a lower vibrational energy and he was high vibrational, but because he had been around these people for so long, he was kind of starting to lose a grip of himself or he had lost track of who he really was and was participating in things that he shouldn't be participating in. Yeah, someone will be getting married. Someone is about to get married. Okay, two people are about to get together to get married. Uh, but I remember I uh, picked up on him um, and he had been exposed to some different energy than the people he was around. And he was learning from this person how to heal or just how to take a different path or step out on faith. And I think this is the same person I'm picking up on. He's a little bit more advanced now in, on his journey. Um, there's something where he's about to leave to so have some type of fresh start somewhere else. With that fool out there, he's stepping out on hope, stepping out on faith, hoping that he's going to be able to build an empire somewhere else, somewhere else, a new life somewhere else, right? So he could be coming to connect with you. All of this is divinely orchestrated, by the way. This is not something that's just, you know, um, being forced on someone. This is all divinely orchestrated. It was always meant to be like this. He's overcoming his enemies. And these enemies are people that used to be friends and family, family members to him. Okay? So whatever he's planning to do, he will absolutely be fruitful. This is a, the beginning of success for him. But he understands now that he does have to separate himself from these people in order to be able to grow, accelerate, move forward in life, create that multiple stream of income that he wants, uh, things like that. But someone is going through some type of change. Absolutely. Yeah, he has... He has foresight now of the situation. He understands what he has to do, how he has to move. Just he, he has foresight of the whole situation, of the future, and he's moving. Yeah, he is moving on. Okay? So, that's just absolutely beautiful. It's kind of uh, crazy that I picked up on this guy a whole year ago, and now... He's popping back out, and he's been popping out a lot in my readings, this King of Cups. Now, I've been picking up on two different King of, Cup, King of Cups. One is in the reverse. One is a false higher fent that lies a lot, pretends to be what he's not, and then you have another King of Cups that's in the upright that people are trying to discourage from making the right decisions in his life. But as you can see, he's making the right decisions in his life. He's finding out that people have been interfering 
with some type of connection that he wanted to have with someone. And now he's stepping out on faith and making that decision to move forward and make that connection. Now, how you two are going to get together, I'm not 100% sure about that. Someone may be coming towards you, traveling towards you and things like that. Um, so it's going to be quite interesting how this, yeah, he's removing himself from these people. Um, it's going to be quite interesting how this love story kind of concludes but i mean it's not really a conclusion but you two will be meeting i just said i don't know how you two are going to meet he may be coming to you and here it is you two are meeting up in person right so this is how you two are going to meet and you best believe there are people behind the scenes pulling a lot of a lot of tactics not little a whole lot of tactics to prevent this person from having this new beginning you two starting this new path together because you're meant to be extremely abundant Someone wants to have a family. Uh, I don't know if he's ever had a genuine, yeah, a fresh start. I don't know if he's ever had a, 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 um, a genuine family dynamic with someone else. He may have a child with someone else, but it just was not fulfilling. So this is kind of the situation where he's like, you know what? If the child is mine, I'm going to do what I need to do and take care of the child. But I'm not going to be staying with this woman. I'm not happy with her. I'm not living a fulfilling life. Where you indulge, we, we've been living the same toxic lifestyle for decades or however many years or however many months, and he just does not want to be a part of it. So he's made a decision to have a fresh start somewhere. Someone could be freeing you as well, collective, for some from type of some type of situation you are in. You could be trapped in something and you're about to be free out of this situation so that you can have this new beginning with this masculine. Um, and you are protected. I think there's someone out there where you are warm like you've been in some type of situation where you don't feel safe um you don't feel secure yeah you don't feel safe but something is about to be dismantled so that you can be free from whatever this bondage is that people are trying to keep you in you're not someone that's meant to be bonded i'm telling you you're not meant to be bonded okay so you're about to be having some type of fresh start um it could, but i don't know there's a king of wands out here yeah someone is absolutely freeing themselves so this is the same this could be the same masculine you know taking on these different energies he's freeing himself from some type of toxic connection or to yeah literally what i'm saying is what's being solidified he's freeing himself so he could be the same person just taking on the energies as ne as needed in per the situation he had to stand his ground right to be able to free he free himself from that toxic connection you see that the fool and the devil in reverse the devil in reverse has to do with you letting go of bondage uh letting go of things that are holding you back uh getting out of your mind any type of toxic behaviors you have you've worked on them and you are freeing yourself from those uh behaviors and things like that so someone is letting go of toxic places people and things so that they can live in their truth okay someone has a lot of emotions for you yeah so they're coming to you to give you some type of little offer um and i'm saying little because it's some type of friendship um that they, they want to extend to you and for some of you there's also a masculine in here you need to be careful of that's leaving some type of toxic situation to come and extend you some type of false offer um just to trap you in something but you do have a genuine person in here that does want to come in and build with you okay so you could have someone that's coming in to mislead you and another person coming in to give you a genuine offer and you're going to have a decision to make you're going to have to try to figure out who the genuine offer is coming from i'm telling you one is solid and one is not um so you're going to have to try to make sure you make the right decision so you don't end up in some type of bondage with someone you have no business being bonded with because someone is coming towards you just to distract you and that's the last thing you need is someone distracting you right so just just be careful with that someone does want a commitment with you okay and they're choosing to go for it someone does want to manifest some type of commitment with you you're showing up in the queen of pentacles energy as well which means you're someone very business savvy uh and someone is finding out finding this out about you and they want to extend some type of offer to you 
um, that is going to secure you and allow you to focus on your dreams and aspirations and things like that. Um, and they want to kind of have some type of reconciliation with you. For some of you, this is someone you are familiar with. And, this, and for others of you, this is someone you're not familiar with. In the physical, this could be someone you're just uh, familiar with in the spirit realm. Okay. So this could be a higher level soulmate that's coming into your energy. You and them are already connected in the spirit realm. But in the physical, you're not quite connected yet, but you are about to be in there taking action to make sure that this happens. Okay, but just be mindful. Your angels, I don't know, they keep telling me to just tell you you're okay, you are secure. Um, you, you yeah, the situation you're in may not be ideal right now, but they're securing you in that situation until it is time for you to be free. And it looks like that's what's about to happen. You are about to be set free and free to be you basically okay free to be you free to be creative free to connect to source i mean you already have a direct connection to source but what's happening is that there are people behind the scenes trying to interfere with your downloads your dreams trying to block all of those and source is not having it so if you can see here your angels are working together on your behalf to free you from whatever bondage this is, whatever ending. Uh, so someone may have received a message or sent a message uh, to notify someone about what's supposed to be taking place. Mm -hmm. And there are actions being taken behind the scenes to make sure that you are protected. I'm telling you that you are protected. There could be a king of wands here going through some type of ending himself, some type of rebirth, some type of awakening. It looks like he's freeing himself from some type of, I don't know if this is a, uh, like an institution or he's just letting go of his toxic ways or something like that. Um, yeah, to have a fresh start. Yeah. He's making changes to kind of minimize the amount of loss he's experienced. Someone may have experienced some type of loss in his finances, his stability, and things like that. And this has to do with actions this person took against you. I'm trying to get clarity on this uh, 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 um, King of Cups. It may look like he and his wife has been working together to do something. Maybe they're looking into something or exposing the truth. Uh, there's something in here about a king of cups and his wife doing something. I don't know what it is they're doing. I don't know if they did something for money and they thought that it was securing them. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. There could be a king of cups that's interfering with a union from coming together. Uh, but it looks like this union is still coming in. It's a whole lot going on and I'm trying to focus on the... A dominant narrative here because I'm hearing a lot of different voices in here a lot of different narratives and things like that but the overall story is that two people are coming together um, and this has been a long overdue union that's meant to be uh, whether this is in work or collaboration or whether this is in romance this is something that is divinely meant to be and it will be happening but people have been working really hard to prevent this from coming together, okay? Um, but there's someone in here experiencing some type of death. I don't know if it's a literal death or just death in a lot of different aspects of their life. And this was to humble this person, right? Someone literally is falling from grace. Um, and this was to undo them. This is like someone being undone so that they can be built back up, okay? Um, so, yeah, this is a union. Absolutely. It's a union uh, of commitment. So you two will be committed to each other. And you'll be so committed to each other, it may piss some people off. Yeah, it's going to piss people off. Because you'll have people trying to come in between this union. Like, they're going to try. They are going to try their hardest to cause some type of division. And if you can see also how the relationship is starting... People are already causing problems <laughs> trying to separate the two of you, but you're still going to come together and get, you're still going to come together. Okay. Um, so when you get together, people are going to be trying even harder to separate the two of you, but it's not going to work. Okay. It is not going to work because you two will already have foresight knowledge of what people are doing. You also remember what you had to go through to get to where you are. So you you know you know what people are doing, and you may you two may laugh about it when you're behind closed doors. You'll probably be talking like, "Oh uh, yeah, you, can you believe she said you did this?" 
and can you believe he said you did this? Like, you two will be laughing at people behind closed doors. Like, and then you'll know, like, what is really going on with people behind the scenes. Because you two are gifted in some way. Like, you two are spiritually gifted. So, you'll know exactly what people are going through. Like, the facade people keep keep up. You, you'll see right through it. Um, and, and this is going to bother people because they'll know you two are gifted people with abilities and you know their secrets and things like that. So they're not really able to hide what they're doing or what they're going through for, uh, from the two of you and it's going to bother them. So this is a very unique relationship that's coming together, but it's divinely meant to be from what I'm seeing. It's divinely meant to be. So you may be receiving some type of letter from someone. It's like an apology from someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This King of Cups, I don't know if this is his wife or this is someone you dated in the past and they want to reconnect with you. There is no recollection, no reconciliation between you and these two, you and this person. I don't know why every time I meant I'm trying to say reconciliation, reconnection comes up. I don't know what the heck that is. But you two are not going to be having any type of reconciliation. You and this King of Cups from your past is not happening. Someone may be having fun memories of you now. Is that someone because now you're away from them? Um, they never saw the value in you when they had you, right? Or this could be just someone maybe you work with and they didn't see the value in you when they had you. But now that someone has put you on a pedestal and they understand your value, they see you, they see you in the way you're supposed to be seen as someone very genuine, authentic, a healer, a blessing, someone roars committing to. Now that someone else has put you on a pedestal, this person now sees your value and they may want to connect with you. They may even be trying to send you messages, but you're not responding. You may have someone on block. Now they see your value, they have fun memories of you. This person could be reminiscing about you and things like that. You're not reminiscing about anyone. Um, maybe you're like myself, we don't really move backwards. Um, I've had something where sources always telling me, like my ancestors are always telling me, like move forward, do not go backwards in life. So that's why I'm that way because I, I will literally like be scrolling and or just doing something like driving down the street or something and I'll see a sign or I'll see something that will say, do not go backwards, go forward, okay? Don't go to the past, go step into your future. So I'm giving that message to you so that hopefully you don't make the mistake of accepting some type of offer from someone from the past because that's going to hinder you, okay? Someone also out there, I'm trying, I'm being told to tell you, tell you that you are being free, which will go, kind of go in alignment with what I started saying, that you are bonded in something, you're stuck in something or somewhere, or with someone and you are about to be free and your angels want you to trust them. Um, they want you to, you know, listen to them when they tell you to take action so that you can connect with who you're meant to connect with or how things are supposed to go. It will make things a little bit more smoother for you if you listen to them. But they do want you to know that they are watching over you, okay? Uh, whoever this is that's having a... a, a um, Fond memories of you. This is someone that may even be living in some type of desperation. They may have put themselves in some type of situation with another energy that's just not healthy. This could be a husband and wife um, that are not getting along as well. Uh, so someone may have either went and got married, had a child by someone, and it's not working out, or this is just a couple that's going through some type of fender bender because of decisions that they made when it was in regards to you and you are not going to be having any type of new beginning with this person you may be stepping into your new beginning your abundance by yourself and you will meet whoever you're supposed to be with when you get there but you are being set free so that you can be who you are meant to be and fulfill your purpose or start on your life mission and purpose okay um yeah Oh my God. Oh my God. So you may have had some type of uh, contract with a king of pentacles and he betrayed you. Um, he's also going through some type of betrayal betrayal himself. He was ill advised by someone and I keep getting like a higher fan. Someone like a religious 
energy that ill advised a king of pentacles and now this king of pentacles is in some type of limbo he's not able to get out of like someone may have taken some type of action because of greed against a queen of cups and he's having to go through the consequences of that like literally someone manifested some type of ending for themselves like they were supposed to have some type of genuine connection with you but they took you know this is something where it's that you meet someone and you try to get advice from one of your male friends or something like that and you're like i think i met my match she said she she's exactly like me she thinks like me she's business savvy like me and the person they don't know that their friend is envious of of them or maybe the friend received some type of payment behind the scene to block this union so he ill advised the king of pentacles to not uh, uh give you an offer right so the union Universe sees that and they're like, well, you know what? You've made your decision. Uh, we already told you who this person was when you met them and you've chosen what path you want to take. So whatever path, it, path this King of Pentacles took, that's his final path. He's not able to get off of that and mend things with you. He already made his decision to manifest an ending for himself. He was not practical about the situation. He thought maybe because he knew someone for so long or because of how someone presented themselves to be in the upright, that they were advising him correctly, but they weren't. Someone had ulterior motives when they advised this queen of pentacles to not give you an offer. So the universe is not giving this queen of king of pentacles an offer when it comes to you star see he's not able to extend an offer to you of love or friendship because you see right through this person and your ancestors see right through this person there's some type of fight going on behind the scenes it could be between this mask these two masculines it's like i don't know if one is upset that one lied to him or something like that they're arguing about bribery or something like that but they're fighting behind the scenes about something someone did or how someone misled another person but there's some type of fight going on behind the scenes there could be an emperor arguing with someone as well or someone is arguing with an emperor because of a decision he has made and that is that he's telling people that they can't do something to you anymore that you are free to go uh, right because there's something where a lot of you or some of you have been under some type of test um, people have been trying to see how committed you are to your path and they've done everything trying to destroy you but they weren't able to you're still having a fresh start and moving forward with life you are free from the holes of the devil the, you're you're free from the bondage the devil was trying to hold on was trying to keep you in keep on you but you are free you're having some type of fresh start in life and it's going to lead to abundance for you a new beginning you're not going to be connecting with the past and this king of pentacles you're not going to be connecting with him he lost some type of contract with you and someone does have foresight of what's up ahead of him he knows that he's about to lose quite a lot yeah he lost quite a lot with you just because of the decision he made right yeah and he knows he knows like he knows yeah he knows yeah he was deceived this man was deceived by someone and that led to him taking some type of impulsive action that blocked him from being able to connect with you from being able to even mend things with you because someone may have taken something farther than it needed to go like he really invested in dismantling your foundation keeping you stuck like someone committed themselves to something that they just didn't understand is that you're you're uh working with someone but you don't know you're working with the enemy you don't know you're sleeping with the enemy but the enemy comes and the enemy is able to put on a mask and make it look like they're genuinely trying to work with you uh they're on your side it's teamwork but it wasn't teamwork someone was bamboozled by another character and they weren't able to see the truth they've caused a lot of complications for themselves i'm telling you they caused a lot of complications for themselves uh a lot of conflict for you unnecessarily um and they may have uh, um tried to get you out of yeah out of balance they try to get you out of balance but there's someone out here too a queen of cups maybe maybe this is someone that was wanting to have something that you have or you are supposed to receive um and she's not receiving it 
right? This person may be going through some type of chaos behind the scenes, and this is all divinely orchestrated. This is like your angels in, uh, interfering on your behalf. The, the, like the energy someone wanted you in is what they are in now, right? So it's like their return to sender kind of thing. Everything they threw out into the universe to come to you, it reverted back to them. Uh, so there's something where they may have lost their foresight. Maybe someone has some type of gift or ability. They don't have that anymore. They're not going to be successful with anything they're working in, working on or working with. It's just there's no success for this person up ahead. Someone is very greedy. They're being exposed for who they are as well. They're not able to hold on to something or someone, like an opportunity. They're not able to hold on to that because it's been taken away from them and being given to you, collective. And this is what's going to be at your new beginning, your, your new destination, okay? But it's like someone is being undone. A lot of people are actually being undone. It's not just one or two people. This Queen of Cups in reverse is being undone. Someone is very manipulated or, you know, someone could have manipulated this person as well. I don't know. It's a whole lot of manipulation going on in here. A whole lot of manipulation going on here and people betraying each other. People uh, uh, stuck in their minds and things like that. Um, this here, someone is stuck in their mind about you as well. They don't understand how it is that you're still free to go after everything they've done, someone has said this person should not be able to walk away from all of this. That we work too hard to block this person. How do they just get to walk away? And that's because you're protected. Okay, someone is trying to bring balance into a situation because it's just too much going on behind the scenes. And you've earned your freedom in some way, some shift, somehow. You've earned your freedom by just staying true to yourself, not taking shortcuts and things like that. This is what this Queen of Cups does. A lot of these characters in here, that's what they do is take shortcuts. But someone knows that you don't take shortcuts. You do things the right way. You do things accordingly. You're not out here stealing from people. You're not out here tricking people, pulling tricks and things like that. Someone may be out here selling themselves as well. You don't do things like that. So someone knows the truth about you and this is why they're saying you're free to go. We're not holding on to you anymore, okay? Yeah, you're free to go. That like you're in charge of your life now. That like someone knows the truth. People may have said that you were doing slimy things behind the scenes, malicious things like that. You are wicked. You're into dark magic. You're into voodoo and things like that. And the whole, like something may have taken this long to come to an end because it was, there was an investigation going on that like something was being looked into. You were being studied. And the truth is now revealed that you are someone that is straight and narrow. Like all you know how to do is do things the right way. You don't bend, beat around the bush. You don't try to take shortcuts. You don't have like a a a, 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 a bootleg person down the street you can go to to ask to do illegal activities for you and things like that. And even if you have that person, you're not utilizing them because you know the consequences for those types of things. It always comes back to you. But someone understands, they know, they know you from the core. Like they understand you don't do things like that. So this is why you are being set free. You are being free from bondage. You were in some type of bondage, even if it was just in your head where you didn't understand like you had the authority in the situation or if it was like people trying to keep you confiscated in a specific environment or workspace position, something like that, trying to limit your income, things like that. You are being free from all of that. And this is what your angels want you to know, right? But whoever this woman is that's coming, showing out here in the reverse, things are not going in the direction she thought that they were going to go in, okay? Yeah, someone play with their own future. Someone play with their own future. She didn't take something serious that she should have. Someone may have made the wrong decision. Yeah, she took some type of rash action to do something to someone and it didn't come out in her favor. Balance is being brought into, into the situation and victory is yours, collective. Okay? And while you're going through victory, some, yeah, I'm telling you. She's not happy with how things are going because she's going through some type of ending. Like someone played with your future the whole time thinking that they were playing with your future. They weren't. 
Your future is solid. It is secure. Someone, you're very protected. And this woman is going through some type of fall from grace that she didn't even anticipate. Like she didn't expect things to be this catastrophic. Like she knew something was going to happen, but she didn't expect it to be this catastrophic. This is like you losing your foundation. Like finances, house, even relationships and things like that because it's just that these are the energies that this woman was sending out like she wanted you to be undone uh-huh because there's some type of i don't know if it's jealousy clouded judgment about someone else's someone misjudged you uh someone is just envious of you they're insecure immature as well uh, they don't take things seriously. Someone is like a clown, but you're looking like a, it's like a 50 year old clown, basically. Like someone is still in like a high school mentality. Yeah, someone in a high school mentality. There could be someone that's married to a queen of pentacles. Is She's just showing up in a queen of pentacles energy because he's, she's his wife. But she's been um, found out as well. She's going through some type of ending. People are realizing this woman is a facade. She's not genuine. She was never a true friend to you. They could be going through some type of separation as well. It's a whole lot going on with these people. And I don't think they really anticipated something like this would happen. Someone may have even had her friend watching you, taking information, like gathering information about you and taking it back to the friend. And there was they were misusing that to spread gossip about you. The only thing is that the friend, whatever information she was gathering was not really even something that was worth spreading. So they just came up with their own sauce uh, to make things sound a little bit more entertaining, something a little bit more interesting. Like you were the hot topic. Because someone was associated with you, People were interested in talking to her, but because you're no longer around, people don't really care what she has to say because you were the one with the genesis quad about yourself. Um, so now someone is like a non-factor. People don't care what it is that she has to say, what she has going on. Her life may be boring. She doesn't have that it factor about her, so people aren't interested in hearing what she has to say. Lord has mercy. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> Whoever this Queen of Cups is, is absolutely going through something. I'm telling you. Yeah, she's not happy about a decision a King of Swords may have made. This could be like a prep, yeah, a PI, police officer, or something like that. Maybe choosing to do the right thing, bring balance into a situation. Maybe trying to send you some type of information, some letter, and she may be telling him, please don't send her that information. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to, I don't know if, if it's like I'm going to, go to jail or I'm, she's going to sue me. He's going to sue me. There's something like that where a king of swords is going to reveal the truth to you. I don't know if you all watched my other video where there was a man trying to send some type of information to another energy and there was a woman in his energy begging him. Look, 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 look. This is the eight of wands, which has to do with receiving messages and things like that. Good news. Uh, but she was begging him not to send the information because she was afraid of what would happen, right? She knew that she would end up either being sued, going to jail for defamation, something like that. So this could be the same story that's playing out. But he's going to send that message. He's going to reveal the truth, right? He's going to reveal the truth. Yeah, I'm telling you. And they're they're all worried about what's going to happen, they are all worried about what's going to happen because they all know something is over. Something is done. Something has been drugged out long enough. It's kind of winded and just redundant at this point. It's redundant. It is so redundant. All the illusions, it's like this, it's childish at this point. It's like you're doing something and someone knows you're doing it. Anything you do, the person knows what you're doing, why you're doing it to get some type of reaction out of them. Um, but it's not as fulfilling as it used to be because when you initially started doing it, you thought the person didn't know what you were doing. Um, uh, but you find out that they've known the whole time what you've been doing and what you've been participating in. So it's not as fulfilling because the illusion is no longer there. Like you do something and someone's like, oh, again, they're still doing this madness. Like you've been doing this for, I don't know, a year, two years, five years, whatever. And you're still doing it again. Like, 
when are you going to grow up or something like that like they want to get a reaction out of you but they're not getting the reaction they want out of you there could be like an occultist in here that have trained these people on how to manipulate how to play with people's energy but they're not getting the kind of energy that they want from you so it's kind of like oh uh, this is kind of boring uh someone may even be sick because they are addicted to your energy and they're not getting your energy anymore that's how sickening and sad and pathetic it is with some of these people um yeah and someone in here he's worried that when he comes to you, comes into your energy, because he's moving on from these people. He's worried that when he comes to mend things with you, you don't really care to hear what he has to say. You may be a little afraid to talk to him. You may reject him because you know what this person did to you. There's like no if, ands, or buts about it. This person is not able, they're not able to deceive you because you already know what someone did. So at this point, it's just like them stepping out on faith, I guess to try and bring balance into a situation, move forward, move things forward with you, right? Start things new, a whole new beginning. Someone knows you're very gifted as well. I don't know how that plays into it, but they know you're, yeah, you're very gifted, very abundant. So I don't know how that's gonna play into it. This is them like trying to bring balance. So I don't know if you two can reconcile, uh, move forward, work together. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is as far as this person is coming into your energy. He's moving on with his life and he's worried about how things are. I don't know. Things are about to play out. He may just be separating himself from these people because at this point, he's just overwhelmed with everything. Everything, everything. Yeah, he's moving on. He, he's moving on. Like he wants to move on, go and heal, making the right decisions to kind of live in his truth, accepting things for what it is. He has clarity now about the situation. Someone may be burdened because of actions they took in the past to block you and you interfere with your income. They may have even bullied you in the past. So someone is burdened about that, but he's choosing to free himself and move forward with his life. It's like, I don't want to be part of this anymore. This is so childish. This is like, you. let's just imagine meeting someone that's six feet tall, very muscular, very high ranking in his career, and he's in, involving himself in something this low vibrational, like bullying someone, like stalking someone and things like that. This is what it is. And I think someone is waking up now and he said, what in the world? Why was I participating in something this childish? This is so immature. I'm telling you, this man is removing himself from these people, seeing things from a higher perspective, going on, moving on to heal, taking flight, honey. He's bringing balance back into his life, into this situation as well, because he knows that you were heavily wrong. Something You were wrong in something. Okay, yeah, you are so wrong. So he's moving on and he's bringing clarity with him. He may be planning to come into your energy. He may be planning to come towards you. He may even be advocating for you behind the scenes and someone is pissed off about that. This I don't know if this is like a PI, a police officer, someone in law, or this is just someone that's very authoritative. They just may, I don't know what the heck they were thinking to get involved in something like this. Yeah. He may be planning to come towards you. Maybe he wants to work with you. Someone finds you to be very attractive. Uh, a little bit, not a little bit, a firecracker. And I think, yeah, he wants to bring balance into this situation. He wants to bring, bring balance and have some type of fresh start with you. Yeah, he wants to reveal the truth to you. And that's justice for you. Someone sees you to find you to be a bit of a firecracker and a bit is an understatement. He's like, how is this one person taking on this whole institution? Like someone is sitting back. I don't know if this, this, they may see you as like a bad ASS. And he said, how is this one person taking on this whole institution? Not backing down, standing their ground. Like, Someone went from, I don't know if they hated you, despised you, or they didn't take you seriously. Now they kind of revere you. Like when they see you, hear you, hear of you, it's like, oh my gosh, 
there she is. Oh, yep, that mother sucker is a bad ASS. She stood her ground. He stood his ground. Something like that. Someone admires you now. Like they're working to bring justice balance into a situation where they know you were wrong. They know now that you had nothing to do with some type of situation and they see you to be an empress energy. They find you to be an empress energy or they know that you are actually an empress energy. You're different from these people. Yeah, you're different from these people. You are different. Yeah, you're different from these people. He's no longer working with these people, not accepting any offer from them. Like he's moving on. There's something where you're having some type of brand new start. Things may be going in your favor in court or something like that. Or you may, I don't know. I don't know. There's something about some type of financial payout. I don't know what that is to be honest with you all, but there's something about a financial payout. You may not have to pay something. Um, you may, or you may have to, I don't know what this is. There are six of six of uh, pentacles in the reverse. Let me see what this is. This uh, these reverses always throw me off. Yeah, I don't know what this one is. Someone may someone okay. So what I'm going to assume is that someone may be speaking the truth about how you experience some type of financial hardship and they'll be revealing the truth to you about why that happened who was involved they may review this to the courts something like that it'll be like yeah you are going through financial hardship this is why it happened this is what this is who did what to you okay this is why your finances took a plummet this is why you lost your job or this is why this person left a job is because something like this was happening but they are going to bring light to something that you may not know, like who all were involved in something. So this could be what this is, okay? And that clarity for you is gonna enable you to move forward. You're still going to achieve success. I'm telling you, someone holds you in high regard. Someone thinks very highly of you. And these people have been working really hard to cloud this person's judgment about you, but he knows the truth. It's like someone was busy telling this person how broke you were, you was, how down and out you were, you know, but someone does not care about money. They care about character. And this is what he's looking at. He does not care how much money you have. He knows you're someone very honest, solid. He can trust you. Like he can go to sleep and not have to worry about sleeping with one eye open or both eyes open. If he works with you, something like that. Okay, something like that. There's some type of investigation that's been going on. I think I I think I mentioned that earlier, but there is some type of investigation that has been going on and people didn't know that. Yeah, and there's an emperor emperor um, <laughs> empress energy here that could be falling from grace. Uh, something is revealed about her. This is not you, Collective. This is someone that's very um, malicious. Like She may be going through some type of ending, and I don't know if this is in her health or her abundance. This is what they were planning to do with you. It's that you were supposed to be prosperous, and they did something to interfere with your prosperity. And now someone is reciprocating or reflecting, mirroring that same, that same energy. So things are being balanced out for you and there's an empress in here in the reverse that's going through the same thing now. This is that you have to understand what you put someone through. You have to understand what it means to live uh, from paycheck to paycheck. You have to understand what it means to be humble, okay? So you're not in the reverse collective. This is someone else that was like on your behind, just trying to undo you, trying to prove that you are not who you said you were. This could be someone's ex-wife, someone's wife, someone's mother. I don't know who this is. Someone's baby mama. Um, but they're going through something. There were there's like a there were like a whole lot of hands in what happened to you, and you may not even know the magnitude of how far people went trying to block you. I'm telling you. And now they're going through disappointment. There could have been a mother and daughter duel here that was coming after you. And they're both going through some type of 
ending some type of laws. They may be fighting with one another. Two women may be fighting with not one another. They're no longer friends. Some type of friendship has come to an end. Some type of friendship has come to an end. Okay? There's a relationship that's coming to an end as well. It's that these people were really just friends because of what they were working on against you. I'm telling you. Because they were working to dismantle you, this is why their friendships were solid. But now that they know they're not dismantling you, they cannot dismantle you. Every action they take to cause you a loss is leading to their loss. The friendship is over. You're moving forward. You took charge of your life and you're still moving forward. They may have interfered with your abundance and things like that. Yeah, you may have experienced some type of loss, but you're still choosing to move forward. You're the one with the authority in the situation. And I mean, so you're the one with the spiritual gifts and abilities. So at the end of the day, you come out on top. Okay? But law enforcement is involved in here. This could be like a private, private detective uh a police officer someone's brother may be a pol police officer as well that has found himself in some type of really sticky situation that he participated in as well uh someone may have stolen someone's identity to commit some type of fraud did some type of illegal background check something like that he was not authorized to do there are things that get that are going on in here Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Is there I don't know. I keep, I keep hearing like you are being free, remove yourself or move on, move on or something like that. That's for someone. You need to move on. Move on from these toxic people move on whatever action someone is supposed to take to bring balance into a situation they need to do that so that this can come to an end because this whatever this is had just been someone has been dragging it out for so long it's just ridiculous this came out in the reverse yeah so someone will be revealing the truth to you about a high priestess in the reverse someone is a liar someone lies a lot they deceive like they use their position to deceive people all oh, their skills their abilities whatever little bit of abilities this person had they were using it to cause a lot of manipulation someone is just really financially focused and things like that and she's more than likely losing her finances as well she's lost quite a lot yeah she's lost quite a lot she's she wasn't able to block a union from coming together is what i'm getting she may have lied about some type of relationship, some type of connection. Maybe someone went to her and said, hey, are these two still coming together? And she told them, oh, no, they're not coming together anymore. You, we've, we've successfully dismantled the possibilities of these two coming together, but they're still coming together. Like they've been working really hard to block this union. Really hard. Yeah really hard they've been working hard to block this union but they're still coming together <laughs> someone's not as gifted as she thought she was <laughs> and she's made a lot of money out of these people a whole lot of money out of these people mm. yeah i'm telling you solid solid they were trying to like destabilize you. They were trying to destabilize you, but you're still a okay. And there could be a mother figure that has legal issues coming in, a wife energy. I don't know who this is, but this woman has some legal issues coming in. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's not gonna go in your favor. It's not going to go in their favor. And someone could be heartbroken because they betrayed you. They betrayed you. I don't like... Hmm. It's just, 
I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes like when you have like this amount of people in one story and they're all interacting with one another, why is there like not one person to just question what they're doing out loud? Why is everyone just going along? Like you're just going along to get along. Why are you just going along to get along? Have you, you ever heard the saying, express yourself, like do it, express yourself. This is how people end up in fender benders they can't get themselves out of. And it looks like that's what's going on for a lot of these people. Someone is going through financial loss, losing relationship. Someone has legal issues coming in. Someone is sick, may not be able to recover. Someone could be planning to take someone to court as well. Honey, please. All of these problems for no reason. For no reason. And you're being advised to stand your ground with anyone that comes from your past. I'm telling you, for no reason. But someone is bringing a tower to everybody. He's bringing a tower to everybody. Because one person exposed means everyone is exposed. So when he exposes the truth about that feminine energy... It's going to lead to someone else being exposed as a wife character that has legal issues coming in. I'm telling you. Someone's wife has been doing things behind the scenes that he may not be aware of and it's leading to issues for him and her. Him and her. She took some type of action to block someone's work, money, abundance, a path. Healing, whatever they said she did. I'm telling you. She is malicious. Someone is like very malicious. Not only is she out here as a high priestess in the reverse, she's out here showing up with the five of swords energy. Someone is very malicious and she has legal issues coming in. It's not going to go in her favor. This is why she does not want this man exposing the truth. People are going to be laughing at her. They're going to be laughing at her. Because the truth is going to be revealed. I'm telling you. She's not going to get wish fulfillment. I'm telling you. And this is not something she can like just get away from. Someone is on you, unbalanced. And you're about to be going somewhere where people, the people you connect with, they're going to be protecting you from betrayal, endings, and things like that. Any type of malicious energy that comes around trying to do something to you, I'm telling you, they're going to be protecting you from them. There's a whole group fighting behind the scenes because the truth is freaking exposed. It's illuminated and there's nothing they can do. Like, you can't put the cat back in the bag. The cat already jumped back, jumped out of the bag and ran away. You got to catch that cat, but by the time you catch that cat, it's already been exposed to the world. It may have even ran into the bush and stuff like that. This chapter is over. It's been exposed to too much. It don't, it's not familiar with you anymore, so you're like a stranger. Yeah, you're victorious, honey. I, I can't. These people, I'm, I'm sorry. Sometimes these, these karmics, they're just freaking annoying. It's just annoying. It's, it's really redundant. And the sad part is these same people, they come online and watch all the terror videos and definition videos and things like that. And they will be warned, don't do this. Don't take this action. Don't come after that person. Don't block that person's platform. Don't interfere with that person's work. Don't get in between someone's relationships. Stop sending negative energy to people. They'll still go and do it. And they think maybe because they paid the practitioner to cleanse them, gave them a spiritual bath or whatever, or they recited some type of ris ridiculous uh, petition or something like that, that, oh, now they're, they're protected from the energy coming back to them. That's not how it works. 
That's not how it works. Automatically, when you send something to someone and they haven't done anything to you, they don't even have any ill intentions of you, not thinking of you, nothing is coming back to you. I don't care how many times you do that spiritual bath. I don't care what guru you go to, what practitioner you go to. They can charge you $35,000 to give you a spiritual bath. Honey, you are still getting that energy back. You are still getting that energy back. This chapter with these people is over. They are unable to heal. Like all of this chaos is being brought to an end. It's over. People want to have closure and move on. Because at this point, it's redundant. It's redundant. Someone has been doing something for so long. It has, it has impacted their finances. They don't know how they're about to recover their finances. There's a queen of wands in here. Her money is not good anymore. This will be one of the ones that used to walk around feeling that she was better than someone else. Because she had some money or something. Or who she was with. Not with that person anymore. Someone felt like she was on top of the world better than other people because of who she was in a relationship relationship with. They're separated. Either there's a divorce going on or some type of separation, a breakup. And she's looking like a freaking clown. People may be even laughing at this woman behind her back or even in her face. This wife character out here in the reverse, honey. Oh, baby. You have legal issues coming in and you're not going to have favor in court. You're not going to have favor in court. Okay? That people, that people don't know how to be content in life. People do not know how to be content in life. They're too focused on other people. What other people have going on? What other people have? What other people have coming in? To focus on other people's life. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. All this stuff for greed. And you're not getting the money. Do all of this for greed and you're not getting the money. There's a couple in here that's not getting wish fulfillment. They thought they were going to be getting some ridiculous amount of money. They're not getting it. They're unhappy, discontent with one another. The only thing that was to spark in their relationship is that there was a possibility they were going to be wealthy off of your back. It's not happening. They're not receiving some type of financial payout, donations, whatever this is. They may have been receiving some type of little uh, uh, pocket change in the past because they were indulging in something. They're not receiving that anymore. They're greedy, very greedy, but they're not receiving it anymore. They're having a hard time recovering from this mess. May have depleted their finances because they maybe assumed the money was going to keep coming in forever. You're delusional. You are delusional. Whoever this king of swords is, <laughs> this man, he's bringing a tower to everyone. He don't care. He does not care. This would be like one of the people... They will review uh, 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 info to you and disappear. You can't do nothing. He's gone. They said someone provides you with information and they go abroad. What are you going to do to them? Nothing. Nothing. They said, oh, by the way, I have this letter for you. Don't open it till you get home. And right after he leaves you, he gets on a plane and disappear. And now this karmic group, oh, they have legal issues coming in. They went from celebrating to fighting. Short-lived victory. They went from celebrating to fighting. Short-lived victory. Never should you ever sit back and celebrate someone's downfall or the possibility of someone feeling in life. You are pathetic as heck. You are pathetic as heck. And anyone with two senses that see you will know you are pathetic. <laughs> this couple, whoever this is, they thought they were going to have their way. And they're having to move on. They need to go heal. 
But these are people that don't know how to or don't want to. All they care about is money, overindulging in things that are just setting them back. These two don't possibly even like each other. How can you? Because if your partner really liked you, they wouldn't allow you to get involved in something like this. They wouldn't allow you to get in involved in something like that. Like the moment you brought it out, they'll be like, mm -mm, I, we, we, we don't need to participate in something like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like I said in one of my videos, couples, usually they're there. If one person, person is straightening out, they say, honey, like they straight off, honey, get back to the middle. Straight off, honey, sweetheart, get back to the middle. We're going that way. We're not going that way. We're not going that way. We're going that way. Together. They overindulge in something. Greed got the best of someone. I'm going to do this in order. Seven, look. Okay. You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes give you a greater awareness than most. I am brilliant. Okay, eight, uh, infinite blessings and opportunities from the universe. Okay, uh, you have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. I am tactful. Mm. 10 completion. I said something was done. And would you believe that we ended we stopped on the world? Completion. Something is done. Substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. I am evolving. If you are in some type of situation and you're staying there because you're comfortable there, oh, you best believe there's some type of change that's coming that's going to be taking that comfort away from you because the universe does not like people getting too comfortable in places after they've told you, hey, it's time to go, and you're like, oh, no, you know, I'm okay here. No, 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 that's not what they told you. They told you it was time to move on. So what you need to do is ask them, well, how am I supposed to move on? Where do you want me to move to? How do I get there? That's what you need to be asking. Never tell the universe that you're comfortable where you are and you don't want any change. Honey, please. That's when they'll shake you up even faster. That's when they come in with a rule awakening. They say, you know what? That boss you're working for, yeah, he sells drugs and he's been doing this behind the scenes and you could be, you know, an accomplice in there. You still want to stay here? Oh, no, I do not want to stay here. I need to move on. Where do you want me to go? That's how the universe works. So you need to listen when things are being said to you. Pay attention to messages and things like that. When they tell you, move on, move on. Okay? Move on. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.